Hey, 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 what you say, what you say now? I'm in a good mood this morning. I hope you all are too. What is that? Oh, it, it, is that Phil? Phil? Yes, that is Phil the Groundhog. He came out and he said he saw his shadow and there's going to be six more weeks of winter. I had to show y'all that. My baby was so proud yesterday. Chandler came home like, Mommy, Mommy, I got the groundhog. We did the groundhog. So this is what they did in school yesterday. They painted the grass green and have a little groundhog glued on a stick that you could push up and down coming out of that hole. So <laughs> six more weeks of winter, y'all. Okay, let's move on. I went to the Dollar Tree this morning because my baby's not feeling well. I should say my middle baby. All of them my babies, but my middle baby, Avery, he has a stomach virus, I assume. He woke me up at 2 o'clock in the morning. He was throwing up, and um, he stayed home from school today. So I ran by the Dollar Tree and picked up some Tampico Pops for him, an 8-pack. This 8-pack of Tampico Pops, Popsicles, Flavor Pops, come in citrus punch tropical punch mango punch and kiwi strawberry punch just a little popsicle to replenish his fluids i mean my mama used to give me popsicles when i was sick and couldn't keep things on my stomach once i had my stomach settled you know so that's why those are open um already and i also picked up from the dollar tree these red baron singles minis three bacon and egg Specifically, they say scrambled eggs, bacon bits, and cheese on a crust. So, let me see the date on these. These say Best Buy, August 31st, 2017. So, picked up those. If you've tried them, let me know. We've never tried them here. So, that'll be three of those, one each for the boys for breakfast one morning. I made sure to pay attention yesterday in the regular grocery store at these Weight Watcher Smart Ones products. The majority of every Weight Watcher Smart One in the grocery store was $2.39. And in particular, these chicken sliders were also $2.39. So if you get these from the Dollar Tree, you're saving $1.39. Um, and my oldest son loved these uh, when he had them, those two chicken sliders. So um, he ate them for a snack after school. So I picked up some more. This is a repurchase. Another repurchase, the Philly Swirl um, swirl Sticks and the Cotton Candy Flavor, six-pack. Picked up those. We're out of them. Another repurchase from the Dollar Tree, the Edwards Pie Slices. But they have a new uh, container wrapper. So there goes the Key Lime Pie. Uh-oh. Sorry about that, guys. But you see the container's different. It used to be just like yellow and lime green or that key lime color and this is the Edwards Hershey's chocolate cream pie slice and the container is different so again don't think they have a new um, pie slice in there it's just that they changed the wrapper for the Edwards key, uh, key lime and Hershey's chocolate cream pie slices I also picked up the Celeste breadsticks I had never seen these before didn't pay attention to them in the regular grocery store or in the Dollar Tree if they've had them but um, the Dollar Tree does have the Celeste breadsticks. Now this is the cheesy garlic breadsticks and these are supposed to be microwavable as well. And then I did pick up one of these Mama Rosa pepperoni pizzas. It's very tiny. Um, at first the baby, the youngest son, he did not eat pepperoni and now I guess because his brothers eat it, he's on it too. But this is also microwavable, you all. And this is just an eight ounce pizza. It says keep frozen, cook thoroughly. There's actually no date on it. And I'll tell you, uh, for the Celeste breadsticks, there's a date of November 4th, 2017. So, none of these products were expired in there. I wonder if, yeah. This actually, the Smart Ones Weight Washers has a best uh, buy date of March 28th, 2017. I can tell you those um, Weight Watcher sandwiches, my kids love the breakfast Canadian bacon and cheese. Oh my goodness. They thought they were so good. All right, I also picked up this Betty Crocker Parmesan and Asiago real sliced potatoes. Um, so please, if you've ever tried this, let me know. I've never tried it. I wanted to try the flavor of the Parmesan and Asiago. And this has a date of January. Oh my goodness. I wish I would have noticed this, you all. It's better if used by January 21st, 2017. I should have paid attention to this. 
and I don't think you can exchange food products in the dollar store. Um, but anyway, best if used by. So I'll probably try to make this immediately today. We were going to have steak later anyway, so that'll go with that. All right, good. This has a best if used by date of April 16, 2017. This is the Good Table Southwest Tortilla Sauce and Crust Mix for Chicken. So this is just the crust for chicken. We eat a lot of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Big Daddy does not like anything with boneless, skinless chicken breasts. So this will be good to try to just do something different instead of just baking it. Didn't have any steak sauce, so I picked up some steak sauce. Um, this is by Supreme Tradition, which is a Greenwood, Greenbrier International brand. I was trying to see if it's a date on here. Best Buy, yeah, June 2018. Um, and this is a 10 ounce container of steak sauce. I also picked up a 10 ounce container of Worcestershire sauce by Supreme Traditions. I did grab the Kellogg's Fruity Sours. I think I've seen these in there before, but I haven't, I've been staying away from uh, gummy type snacks just because the kids, they love them to death, but we know it's not good for their teeth. So they've had a good run of not having any of these in the house. And um, I think I'm just going to kind of keep these stashed away for maybe like a snack. Or if we're going to hit the road one day and I know we'll be out for a while, I'll throw three in my purse and surprise them with them. But I don't want them to know where they are. All right, next, I picked up the Friday's chips, um, the TGI Friday's chips. We have Super Bowl coming upon us and mozzarella sticks, the potato skins, cheddar and bacon. This is a four ounce bag, and this this is a four ounce bag. This is a 4.375 ounce bag. And then we have the TGI Friday's Buffalo Ranch. These are party bites, puff corn snacks. And then this is the TGI Friday's Potato Skins Jalapeno Cheddar. So I will have all four of those. And I think I'm gonna do a, not a taste test on them, but just a little review, see how the kids like them and video that for you. I also picked up the Sherwood Nut Clusters. P so, sorry, I'm so close. Sherwood Nut Clusters, peanut, pumpkin, and blueberry. And do I see any dates on these? I don't really see any best if used by dates, um, but it says nine grams per serving. And I, I love pumpkin seeds. I actually grind up pumpkin seeds and put them in my smoothies in the morning. So pumpkin seeds are like a natural um, dewormer. So <laughs> that's what I've been told um, when I talk to, you know, health, uh, holistic health food specialists, people who own health food stores when I go to some of the independent ones around here. But the ingredients are simply peanuts, sugar, brown rice syrup, blueberries, um, sunflower oil, pumpkin seeds, salt, and blueberry flavor, and it says contains peanuts. So I'm hoping this is a delicious little snack. And then some of the purchases that I made that were not food, I have been hearing rave reviews about this screen guard. Sorry for the glare, but that this screen guard tempered glass is very good. Um, I was also told from watching someone else's video that this one was for the iPhone 6 or iPhone 6 Plus, but it also should work for the iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, because it's the same size, and that's what I have. Um, so, yeah, I, I've been hearing rave reviews on the, and this is by Greenbrier, but that if you drop your phone with this, it has been protecting it. Um, and not only that, but maybe this will break, but your phone won't break. So that's... That's wonderful. I did pick up this Wet n Wild. Let me see if you can see that color well. In this red. I want to try. You got Valentine's Day coming up. And I just wanted to try. I've been seeing. I have a girlfriend who looks so good and when she wears red lipstick. And this is Hot Red by Wet n Wild. And I just wanted to see if maybe in my skin tone could I find a red that looked nice. So... I did pick up, I've been loving the nail stickers. I actually, they look terrible now, but I have on the Essie nail stickers right now. Um, and these are sassy and chic nail stickers. So I saw this pattern and said I would try it. The nail stickers are just so convenient. And I, this red one as well with the stripes. They didn't really have any 
nail stickers in there that I just was like, ooh. Um, well, they did. They had a cheetah one too, but I'm gonna try those too. Then I've I've been liking the nail stickers. I had I can't remember trying Sassy and Chic's nail sticker. I think I did try. Nope, that wasn't Sassy and Chic. It was some other company I found in Rite Aid. But I want to try those too and see how they work out. Now, see this book, y'all. Professor Gargoyle. I originally saw this in the Dollar Tree probably about a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, oh, I'm not getting that book. I should have picked it up, though, because this is actually like a teen book or, or a, um, a book for kids. This says Tales from Lovecraft Middle School Number 1 by Charles Gilman. So um, my son's not in middle school yet, but when I opened it up and saw, I was like, oh, yeah, like my son could read this, you know. So I picked this up for him to read thought it was cute and um this as well this is called pk pinkerton and the petrified man and when i read a little bit of the back pk pinkerton is like a 12 year old yeah a private eye detective so again picked up another book for my son and this book is by caroline lawrence so um, you know, there's some great books in there. And I finished my first Dollar Tree book, and I'm going to do a video and give you all a book review on that. I think I'm going to make that Wednesday's um, Happy Hour Hump Day Haul, the book review, because I really enjoyed the book. Um, that is my Dollar Tree Haul for you all. I wasn't expecting to do another one until next week, but um, again, I just needed to pick up uh, popsicles for my baby. So I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope everybody is doing wonderful, mentally, physically, and spiritually. And um, I look forward to you watching my next video. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Don't hesitate to share this with family and friends. And if you hit that bell, you'll be notified of all the upcoming videos that I do. Everybody take care. Until next time.